Good morning, everyone. How are we all doing? Or good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are. Um, right, let's have a little look at the chat and see what's happening. Let's get rid of that. Okay, cool. So, yes, good morning. Just give you all a moment. I am actually on time, which is great. <laughs> um, I'm just going to give it a moment for people to pop in and say hello. And just check everything is as it should be. Yep, I can see that I am there. Um, so last week I had a slight hiccup, as in the Facebook comments weren't coming through. But hopefully that will sort itself out today. Good morning, Jan. How are you? Um, wow. Hi, Rachel. Morning from Barrow. Good morning from Bristol. Um, yeah, good morning, everyone. Okay, just give everyone a moment to pop in and say hello. Morning, Mina. Morning, Camille. Nice here. Nice day here near Swindon. Morning, Anne. Yes, it's actually a really lovely day today in Bristol. No rain for the moment. Um, but also, it's one of those nice, it's quite warm, but it's not too hot. There's a bit of a breeze. It's a perfect day. Um, yeah, so that brilliant. So what's everybody up to today? Uh, has the school summer holidays hit them yet? Because my um, my kids are home. They are home for the week, for six weeks, but they're actually not home today. Oh, sorry. Hi there. Um, nice and sunny in Sudbury. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah, so they are, um, they are on a camp. My kids are on a St. John ambulance camp. Uh, beautiful weather here in Bishop Auckland. Oh, lovely, Ida. Good morning, Joanne. Good morning, all. Oh, let's put some of these mornings up because it's really nice to see these morning messages. So let's just see everybody saying good morning to everybody or whatever the day is for everybody. So we've got morning from Rachel. And we've got good morning from Mina. So I've got my Facebook comments at the moment. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll stay with me this time from Camille, um, nice and sunny, it's nice to see the nice sunny messages, um, nice and sunny in Sudbury, beautiful sunshine in Coventry, morning Joanne, beautiful weather in Bishop Auckland, um, what's everybody's weather like, let's just have a sunny Perth, Sunny in Leicester. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Um, yeah, so it's good for my kids. As like I said, they are at, on St. John Ambulance Camp this week. And they went on Monday morning, like first thing in the morning down to Cornwall. And, you know, it, it's not been the best, has it? So, but it's meant to perk up in the second half of the, of the um, week. They're back on Friday. I've got to drive all the way down to Cornwall on Friday to pick them up. Um, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, so how are we all doing today? We're all good, yeah? Well, today we are going to be doing the, um, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to do a Christmas, kind of Christmas in July themed. And we're doing some res, resin, wrapped present inspired um, pieces. So whilst everybody's just jumping in and saying hello, I'll give you a heads up as well. I actually have seven dogs in the house today. <laughs> seven dogs in the house today seven dogs so um yeah it's fun and chaotic in my house today good morning lucy how are you today uh morning elaine yeah um yeah so i've got seven little dogs with me so um i've got sally's just come in she's my mother-in-law's dog um and she's a uh, little bijon free she's 14 so just down by my feet i've got savannah in the corner so if you hear gentle purring that would be savannah um, we've got Jack over in the corner there, the smallest room in the whole of my house, and I end up with about four or five dogs in here, um, and the others are all out and about. So, yeah, if there's any background noise, I just apologise in advance. Oh, that's good, Lucy. That's good to hear. Yeah, nice. But hope, hopefully it went well. Um, hopefully it went well for you. Um, this is <laughs> seven dogs. Some One sometimes is hectic enough. So I actually have five dogs myself. Um, so we have um, Savannah, who's the, the French bulldog, who's often heard purr in the background snoring. Um, then we have uh, Jack and Blue. Jack and Blue are both Bellington Whippet crosses. 
Then, and they're little old boys, they're 14. And then we have Benny and Gypsy. Benny and Gypsy are brother and sister, and they are actually Blue's children. So they are lurchers because their mum is a greyhound whippet. So there's three breeds in them. So it's um, it's fun. And now we have my mother-in-law, uh, mother and father-in-law's dogs because they've gone, um, you know, they, they've gone away for a couple of days. Um, and I have Sally, who is a Bichon Free, and she's 14. And then we have Woody, who is a mini Labradoodle. And he's just chaos in a bottle. He's been up. He might come up in a moment because he's just, he likes to make a nuisance of himself. So, yeah, fun times. Hi, Judith. Oh, that's good, Lucy. That's really nice to hear. I'm pleased. I'm pleased for you. Well, maybe we can get creating, Lucy. Maybe you can get, that, you know, getting into, brave that chainmail, brave that wire work. Um, right. Uh, hi, Judith. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the other camera in shot just for you to have a look at what we've got today. So today we've, I thought we'd have a bit of fun. Um, when I saw these squares, I just, I knew... I just sat and played with them and I was like, Christmas presents. Um, now I'm going to give everyone a fair warning now. I am very much a December, Christmas is December person, but I also support everybody eats their own. However, you know, as crafters or gifters, we have to be prepared early. So this is a sort of a little bit of a Christmas in July theme. It's a really fun mini make that I think, you know, anyone can have a go at doing this. Um, it's really easy, even if you're new to wire work, you haven't done wire work before. These parcels look too cute. They are. Um, even if you're new to wire work, you haven't done wire work before, these are not too tricky at all. They're really very simple. Um, my daughter's already tried to blag a pair for herself. Um, and, you know, we've kind of said Christmas in July, but if it's a birthday or an anniversary or something like that, you know, birthday girl and you're going out to celebrate your birthday, you can wear your birthday earrings and birthday pendant, I just think super super cool so oh i've got a rogue earring but we'll find its friend in a moment oh no it's there okay so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to switch the camera over well i'm going to put the camera on for you to see and then in a moment i'm going to take you over to the um website so you can see that as well so we have them here now i will give you a heads up they are very shiny and reflective because they are beautiful hematites so i um Ah, sorry, <laughs> in a moment. Um, so they may just be a little bit reflective. Um, right, let me just bear with me one moment. Um, sorry, I'm just checking how it. Okay, cool. So see here. Oh, it seems that like one of your streams is having an issue. Okay, hopefully that's okay. Um, so morning everyone it's christmas all year round for me i collect presents all year absolutely you know we've named them christmas presents debbie you know i i've, I've said birthday presents anniversary any celebration oh, i should have called them celebrants shouldn't i or wrapped parcels i like that as well lucy um so morning ruth uh yeah so Oh, lots of love lots of love in the in the comments it's so sweet um okay so let's go ahead and have a little look now what i want to do first of all is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to show you how you can get your hands on these lovely kits so i'm just going to square square share a screen with you i've only had one cup of coffee today and it is not enough i've got one by standby though so all is good in the world um let me go ahead and show you how you can get your hands on these lovely bundles so i'm going to just share this one moment okay so when it's ready so i'll just um pop me out
Okay, I wonder if it went because I turned one of these cameras off. So I'll pop one of these cameras back on. Still no sound. Okay, how about now? Is there sound now? Is there sound now? How about now? Is there sound now? Any sound? Hang on. Hang on. You can hear me now? I literally was about to write a note to say, can you hear me? <laughs> um, okay. So I get, I know, I know what's happened. I know what it was. I apologize. It was because I turned a little other, it turned my mic off. <laughs> so sorry. Right, I'm going to do a test now. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to mess with anything else. Um, sorry, that was because I um, removed the cameras because I thought it would be easier. You have to stay in the corner of your face. Yeah, I found that one. <laughs> Thanks, Natalie. Um, yeah, I've just sussed that one out. <laughs> oh, well. We all learn, don't we? We all learn. Um, okay. What happens when I get over confidence? See, I'm like, yeah, I'll just remove it. But that was my mistake. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me now. Hopefully you can still hear me and I'm sure you'll shout if you can. Good morning, all. My broadband is on a go slow this morning, so it's a bit jittery. But yes, I can hear you. Oh, thanks, Trish. Oh, well, hopefully, it, um, I find I just if I shut a load down, um, that it runs a bit better for me. It's very, uh, very dodgy. Um, my Wi-Fi is not the best. Um, okay, so I'll show you here. So you can see here, wire wrapped Christmas presents. So if you click on them, you'll see that you've got them here. Now they are on offer at the moment for 4 .99. and so with this bundle you can see you've got all the different bundles here um there are lots of different colorways um you've got silver mermaid pink you've got blue you've got bronze you've got gold you've got hematite um so what you will get with each of those if i click on it is for example good morning angela <laughs> at least your camera isn't booting you off completely or sound going out of sync like it does to me <laughs> well last week Natalie um it just decided to stop giving me my Facebook comments so I could see YouTube comments but I couldn't see any Facebook comments so I had to go through I had to look onto Facebook and read the comments from there so it loves to just give us little challenges doesn't it <laughs> um so you can see here you get um the main bead and then you'll also get so I'll just go into the uh contents you get a reel of um 0.6 wire I believe it's Oh, hang on is it yeah it is it is 0.6 isn't it yeah 0 0.6 0 0.6 wire um and i'm not sure how much you get on there but you get a lot i mean i've done a lot with this um you get so you get a six mil wire you get hematite square cabochons uh you'll get a video free tutorial on how to make them and i have also done a pdf for you as well so there's a picture pdf for you with written instructions there is the um video which obviously you can watch which is being filmed now um and that will be available on youtube and also on the facebook page um and you will of course also get the um pdf as well as all the materials you need to make it so you can see the different color options there so i'll stop and we'll go back to the pieces themselves um for you to be able to see so as I said they are on offer at the moment um, bear with me one moment i'll just and everything's going to be go slow on mine as well yeah so they should be five pound fifty for a kit but they are 4.99 each and you will get um three cabochons two small one large um some earring hooks and you will also get your wire to make them so you do get a nice amount there and you can make yourself a full little suite um and i love the idea of this for you know secret santa um when you have secret santa it's normally an under 10 pound gift isn't it so you would be able to, to gift 
just i mean i if i had a secret santa and i got given a little player christmas gemstone christmas present wrapped earrings i would be very happy with that so you know it's great um i think it's just got a lot of potential and they say it's a birthday gift for somebody so there are a lot of different colorways um as i said um, so you've got sort of like your blue colorway, which has got um, the gold um, wire with it. Um, and then you've got, so just go in for it. You've got your mermaid pink ones with the mermaid with the lovely soft pink wire. Um, so I'll probably, I've got some earrings here, so I'll try and show you. Um, so sort of like you've got this lovely kit here, which would have done the pendant and then you've got the pieces here for the earrings um and your wire perfect secret santa gift isn't it now um absolutely and this is that's the first thing that came into my mind was that so we've got those you've got um again you've got like your lovely um we've tried to complement them with the matching wires so you see you've got your bronze and that's got the lovely uh where's that one too i think that's this one here actually this is like the bronze. You've got a lovely pink and a lovely bronze hematite. You've got the gold hematite with the sort of dark brown um, wire. You've got the hematite color with the silver. That's this one here. Uh, you've got the um, mermaid pink, which is the ones here, as I said, um, with the soft pink wire. And then you've got the wire wrapped Christmas presents, which are in silver and black. And I actually really love the, the um, silver and black. I just think that that's a really lovely um, mixture combination. Very classic as well. You can't go wrong with that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap some. So what I am going to do is see if I can find a nice contrasting pair for you to see. Um, okay, let's go with the silver and black, as I said, silver and black. Um, and the reason I'm saying silver and black is that hopefully you'll be able to see it nice and clearly on the recording. So this is the silver and black version. So I have already done the earrings and I will do an earring as well so you can see how it's done on a smaller scale. Um, so you can see these here. Now I actually did make these and this is quite a challenge for me because I, um, just because of the um, mirroringness of it, but I made them handed. And by handed, I mean, the morning, Linda, and by handed, I mean that the bows both go in the opposite directions. Uh, you can have the bows just straight or you can put little loops on them. I've put a little loop on this one just for a bit of fun. So, you know, you can have a lot of fun with these. Um, OK. One thing I will say as a disclaimer is that everyone is going to all your wires will go out um come in different placements and you know they can all have a bit of different variety to them so i would always say with anything like this have a bit of fun don't worry too much if um you know if you think um oh i've gone wrong or my wires not in the same place as laura's or anything like that because it's, you know everybody's going to place their wires differently if you're left-handed if you're right-handed you you place wires differently just trust your in intuition with this and have a bit of fun this wire being a 0.6 we chose a 0.6 because it's lovely and malleable but it's strong enough to be able to hold your cabochon in place um and having a square cabochon what's great about these are that they're they're very thin so they're not going to move out of the way um, and being square you know you can capture this in a present wrap um and it can't escape my my one rule i work with cabochons a lot and my one rule when working with cabochons is you know make sure there's no escape route <laughs> and there is no escape route with this so i will give you an approximation so i probably cut about 12 inches or so of my um wire okay and what i'm going to do yeah and i would say maybe you know if you're feeling a little bit nervous with the first one maybe try maybe just do a couple more inches longer maybe do sort of like a ruler's length um i think this is about a ruler's length maybe slightly over it doesn't really matter too much but just you know go for a little bit longer than shorter because it's definitely a lot harder to um you, you can't add wire to this really okay so I'm, I've got my cabbage on, I've got my wires, okay, my wire, one piece of wire. And what I want to do is place my cabbage on just below the halfway point. So, 
you can't see this in this well you can come up a little bit there we go so i wanted to be placed just slightly below the halfway mark so it's slightly shorter on one side than it is on the other the mermaid color is lovely isn't it mina to be honest with you they're all lovely i just think they're all fantastic i'm using the black and silver just for demonstration but i maybe i'll maybe use the mermaid um i've got some pink for the um for the uh, in your own time laura earrings okay so i've got this placed here slightly shorter on one side than it is the other okay and then what is i want to just bring one wire up and one wire down so going right across the front uh lucy make sure you let me know how you get on i can't wait to see these are really easy and they're just great fun so you can see that you've got one across the back one two across the front okay and then what i'm going to do is bring that same wire so both the working from one side to the other across oops i had a moment of blondness then yeah no that's right <laughs> across the back and down sorry i had a, a complete um i had a moment then of just you know sometimes your mind just blank i've done obviously a lot of these and my mind went blank then so back across the back. So you've got two across the front and two across the back. Okay. Sorry, three across the back. You can have everything. You've not seen these before. They're great, aren't they? You've gone for the bronze iron. Oh, amazing. Honestly, it's going to be absolutely fine. I'm going to do this again. I'll do this a couple of times because it is very easy. And there is a PDF. And if you get stuck, on, I'm always around to give you a hand. Um, right. So coming across. And then what you want to do is take one wire sort of about halfway down the back now you can tell which is the back and the front because there's a, a slight slope and then the front is obviously a little bit higher so going across and then the other wire going across you don't want to do a full turn you don't need to if you wanted to you can but you don't need to do a full turn purely because what it's doing is um locking those wires into place just just if you go let me show you why if you go all the way around which you can if you wanted to there's no need because it does lock it into place i just feel it starts to bulk it out a little bit towards the back and it's not really necessarily needed okay but if you felt you wanted to for extra security then you can of course do so and if you do it by mistake of course it doesn't matter so what you want is to basically bring the wires that were going in the horizontal direction to then go vertical. So how you do that is up to you, but I'm just sort of gently swirling them and then turn the piece over. And so you should have two pieces of wire going across the front. That's the main important side is that one there. So then you're going to take these same wires and you move them about a little bit, make sure they stay where they're meant to in the middle across the front like so okay we can see already just like how i wrap presents love that uh so the same as wrapping ribbon around a parcel expire yeah um i guess joe i'll be honest i don't wrap <laughs> i'm not a i'm not a ribbon person i don't really wrap with ribbon but yes same really same theory Remember those boxes as ages ago, there were some big squares in there. Ah, amazing. Um, okay, so going straight across the front, and then what I'm gonna do is you'll see that we've got one end that's slightly shorter than the other. So if you look at it in this direction, you'll see there's a shorter length and you'll see there's a longer length. What I want to do is take the longer length and I just want to come up across the back, straight across the back. So the reason I went with the longer length. Is because then when it meets this length they're approximately the same sort of size okay and you've got that there now this stone is very secure and will not go anywhere because of it being a square shape we're able to catch those corners there's no escape and it can't go anywhere 
So then what we're going to do, bring the two wires together at the top. So the key to this is having a wire across the front and a wire across the back. What is it locks that that bead? It cannot. So now I'm going to take these two here and I'm going to just twist them together. So I tend to put my index finger in so that I can get a really nice close twist. So I'm really pushing against, really pushing against the um, bead and then I'm going to twist the bead once and then maybe twice. Okay. I'll hold that up for you to see. It's very reflective. Okay. So that's been twisted twice, and then you can see it there. And that is held into place. That can't go. There. All right. So you can see we've got that in place. And that cannot, it's got no root. Okay. So if you wanted to take a moment and just tidy the back of it up, you can, of course, do so. You can hear my dog snoring. <laughs> Would you like to see her? Shall I show her in a moment? If you want to see her, I'll swing the camera around. Um, all I've done is taken my pliers and just sort of tidied that up very gently. You hear snoring. This you. Oh, sorry, Sally. There she is. You right there, Savannah? Are you okay? She does not care. She just does not care, does she? she out for the count. <laughs> Thank you for understanding about the snoring. She has to have her own bed in my studio. Um, she gets very, very, um, have her own place. <laughs> She's like, Mum, absolutely. She's just like, no, I'm, I'm living my best life. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, right, the um, <laughs> back to the wrapping. Um, so I've got this. And now what I want to do is make the bail. So obviously you can see here my, my wires are quite short it's a good mic mine if you can pick up her snoring um i've got my um wrap here now you can use bell making pliers or a mandrel or anything that you've got i'm just going to go ahead and use my bell making pliers i'm using the largest size <laughs> no i mean it is i i mean anyone who watches any of my uh, lives will know that savannah snoring in the background is a must and in fact if she isn't snoring, then there's a problem. <laughs> Where is she? Um, so I'm just popping my pliers in so that they can go around. Now I've just wrapped that wire around. And then taking the tails here and bringing it around to the front. I can hopefully you can see that very reflective look it's actually showing my camera above it <laughs> into place coming across all the way wrap it once and then twice and then i'll bring that up hopefully you'll be able to see so it's just a wrap loop i leave it like this if you want to and you just have a very simple wrapped um present okay but what I'm going to do is create the bow. Now, this is what I'm talking about with wires presenting differently. So if you had more wire, then you would be able to do, um, you probably have find it a little bit easier. It really is everything. When you do work with wire, it, there's always um, going to be something a little bit different. <laughs> oh, Savannah Banners. See what you call. She doesn't care. And in the corner over there, I've got Jack just wobbed out on a um, on a blanket. So I've got this here, and what I want to do is take my pliers. Now, because this wire is shorter, I'm going to use this for the second half of the because this 
wire is longer, I'm going to use the longer wire. And I'm simply going to pop my pliers in, my round nose pliers in, and bring this wire around to form the loop. Okay. Now, the picture um, PDF is going to show slightly differently. Um, it is really one of those where it, it depends. Um, actually, I'll do it the same way I've done it on the PDF. Like I said, each wire presents differently. I probably would continue and do another loop in the opposite direction with this wire because this one's a bit longer. But I will show it the way <laughs> our Morning Phoenix Creations. Uh, my sprocker Meg is looking for the dog. <laughs> oh, well, there's seven in here. She can come and find them. Um, so I've got that going across. Um, but what I'm going to do is stick to the way that I've shown in the uh, booklet. And that is this wire here that's coming underneath. I'm going to bring that up across. So hopefully, hopefully you can see. I will do this again in a moment with a lighter colour as well. It's gone up. And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm around. And that gives you the stuff of the bow. <laughs> I love that. Her head is across the iPad and fighting my hands so she can get closer. Brilliant. Um, so this one here, as I said, is already quite short. You can see that there. So what I'm going to do with this is bring it up behind the bow. And then I'll just use some pliers and I'll just bring that over the front. Just about enough to create part of the tail. OK, so as I said, you know, your wires will place differently when you're doing this. So it may not be exactly the same way. That I've shown in the picture guide but hopefully you know between the video tutorial and the picture guide it should be you should be able to uh, um, get a nice little bow so then this one here I'm going to just take this one around because this is part of the bow remember that I'm going to bring this around the bale up and over now I could just cut it like that, and I think I will. But if you had enough wire and you or you wanted to, you could kind of come back up around the back of the bow just to secure it. Hopefully you could see that up and around. You can hopefully see that. These are very, very reflective beads. Yeah, you can just about see that there. Um, so the theory is that it comes over the front and gives you a nice, Bow. And like I said, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, give it a little tweet to. And then there's your bow ready to go. And again, with this, if you've got them long enough, you might want to do a little loop. You might want to do a little loop just on one. Let's just do one on this one. You wanted to i don't have enough length on this one to do it so i probably will just one but i mean it's everyone's um own sort of interpretation to be honest with you uh so i probably wouldn't do it on that but you just, just pick the wires out and there is your bow um my favorite thing to do when i'm doing anything like this is so play about with it get happy with your placement okay and that's going to be wrapped but my favorite thing to make this officially finished Pop my pliers just into the middle of that double bail, um, that double loop that you made as the bail, and there is your pendant, and that cannot go anywhere. And I just think it's really, really cute. Um, let's just make sure you can see this bit here. Okay, so you can see it's just wrapped like so. Pop it onto a cord or a chain, and you've got your really cute little gift. I mean, you could even um, stick a little um brooch clasp or whatever to it really um i just think it's really fun so i'm going to go ahead now and show you it on the earrings as well because loop on the earrings and also it is a little bit trickier so i thought it might be quite nice for you to see it being done 
on a slightly trickier piece so bear with me while i just grab the earring now i'm gonna go ahead i'm actually actually let's do it with this one mm, no i'm going to use the silver with the pink but this isn't the kit color okay so ah uh, <laughs> no problem um elaine oh i hope the cat's okay hope it all goes okay um so part of the kit for this one for the pink is actually the rose copper colored wire um but i am actually going to use the silver i just think you're going to get a little bit better for the demo in purpose so i am going to go ahead and use the silver against this pink but as i said it's not the kit the kit color itself is the silver wire is with the let me see them where's the silver color just so we've got it um is it with the hematite yeah so the silver color does come with the hematite colored which are your sort of your silvery colored um squares and your, your the, the lovely pink ones let me just find these ones, bronze, gold. Are they the mermaid pinks? No, these are the bronze. So although they're bronze, I always they look more like a pinky colour to me, but they I can see the bronze as well. But I think they're a lovely kind of pinky sort of tone. Um, and these come with the soft rose colour um, cop, uh, coppered wire. But I am just, like I said, I'm taking the silver just so you can see it for the demonstration. So I'm going to just show you it on an earring. Now I am going to do this a little bit quicker. My parents had a lovely Sheltie called Jack because his pedigree name was Jumping Jack Flash. Oh, I love that. Oh, well, we just called Jack. Jack's just, he was my mum's dog. Him and Jack Blue and Gypsy were my mum's dog. Um, and we took them on when we, we lost her. And so um, we just had Jack and Blue. Uh, they're both grey you know gray officially blue colored but gray um and then yeah we had gyps uh gypsy and we have um benny and benny was called we had another one called enid um unfortunately she had a heart condition and she died when she was nine months old bless her but she was beautiful she lived a good nine months and um we knew she was poorly when we found out she was poorly we went back to where we got them from because obviously we knew the people breeding them and we said they said we've got another dog which was benny and i said to my son jackson who was only probably about five at the time what would you have called enid if enid was a boy and she said he went benny so uh that's how benny got named <laughs> um so i'm very quickly going to show you the same again but on the earring it's a small scale so i want you to see how it's done on a smaller scale um i would say maybe again maybe overestimate your wire a little bit um and I'm just going to go through this part a bit quicker because obviously we have done it slower. So we're going across the front. And then we want to go back across. The... Right, I can already see I'm going to cut a new piece of wire because I can already see this one's going to be a bit short on that length. So I'm just going to cut a longer piece. So as I said earlier, a little bit lot it's better to have it a little bit longer and if you see it and you think um you know if you think oh this is going to be too short take it away and then i can easily re-straighten this wire and i haven't wasted it so you know now i can take that out like this straighten that out and then i can still use that so i'm not wasting it but i would waste it if i continued to wrap it knowing it wasn't going to work okay so i'm going around so half Cross across the front, turn it around, wires across the back, and then we just want to go from side to side. And then I'm going to bring the wires across and across. Like so. And then across one wire only so if you've got one that's longer than the other bring that longer wire up and that's going to meet the wire at the front um and then you've got it secured 
fingers nice and close for that twist okay now for the earring i actually only did one loop as opposed to two because it was a pendant but for the earrings it's only going to be um it only needs that hook so i'm going to just separate one to the side and then i'm probably going to just come in around those pliers because i don't need it to be a long like a larger loop coming in and around and bring that across can make this whatever size you want it to be then and then you can bring that around and you can still double those wires bail so you've got that nice and secure question do you know how long wire we need to cut for each square um so again i, I said about 12 inches but let me just get my ruler a moment because i'm just double check that is that about right yeah i said about 12 inches it's about a ruler's length um for for your present for the main for the like, pendant but i would always say maybe practice with it being a little bit longer um maybe go for about 15 inches i've got too much wire for this edge you can see i've got loads but it's better to have a little bit too much wire and be able to create the design you know with no restriction you saw when i was doing this one i, I had it slightly shorter and in a way that was good because you were able to see what happens if it is a little bit too short um but with this one you know it was a little bit more i had to kind of be confident with knowing where the wires went so I would say maybe about 15 inches for the um, present, maybe about 10 to 12 for the earrings. But again, it's it, what I would say is play, experiment with it being a little bit longer initially. And then when you're comfortable with it, then you can sort of get it a little bit closer. But you, you have enough on there to be able to do so much. I mean, I've done loads with this. And like I said, you saw the moment I cut that wire um, and I knew it was going to be too short. I took it off and I was able to just straighten that out and I can still reuse that. It's not wasted. OK, so you can see on here that we've got the um, you can see on here that we've got the everything is in the same placement now, ready to do the bow. And this is nice because I'm able to show you the bow again, but on a slightly um a scale with longer wires now remember i said with the earrings i made mine handed don't worry too much about that if it's going to you know it's a bit of a thinkable you have to so for me i'm right handed so i will naturally towards the right so when you go for the handed and you can do the right when you go to do the left you have to consciously wrap these wires in the opposite direction that's the only um I think I have to watch this properly later. The perks of seeing a, of seeing a dog sitting a dog. I see. Mum, what time doesn't wait for mum to watch a TV live? It looks fab and we'll make cute little Christmas tree ornaments too. Being, <laughs> being a dog mum. Oh, tell me about it. Um, that's a really good idea, um, Phoenix Creations. Absolutely perfect for uh, Christmas tree ornaments as well. Absolutely. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take the longer wire, form this into, I mean, if you have it central, it doesn't have to have a direction. Bring that around. See, I, the reason I chose the silver was because you should be able to see this, this section clearer now than you did with the black. Now this wire here, I'm going to fold that up. And then what that does is it locks this wire into place. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my chain and bring it around. And there's your little sort of bow. And there and there. And then I'm going to Bring it around the back of the bail, up and over. I'm actually just pushing that so it comes over the front, like so. So now what I can then do, 
Oh. Sorry, my um my uh Alice device. If you know, you'll know what I mean by Alice. Keeps just commenting. I'm not talking to it. Um, and then an optional but coming around the back of that loop so you can see that much better in this wood wire. Straight around to the front. You can see that there. And then you can cut that piece because that piece is done. And again, you can cut it to have loops if you want or to not. It's up to you. And then you've got this here. So again, have a little look at the placement. See how you can kind of go, okay, I can bring that one around because we don't want to adjust the size of that loop. You can probably apply it if you find that a bit easier. All the way around to the back of the bale again. And just bring that over the front and you've got a you've got your double wrap now let's get a little bit i love going a little bit rogue so that will give you you cut that and that will give you a nice um wrapped bow what you could do let's just be a little bit of a rebel just holding this with my hand and very gently turning it around and holding my thumb right in that center i'd have to get that so you could give it like a little swirl section and have that wire coming down like so if you wanted to i'd give you a nice option so yeah have a little bit of fun with this um, I might bring that back around like that so it comes over the front again now. So you can actually have that little section like that. So it sits around like that if you want it. I love just having a little bit of fun and, and seeing what you want to create. If you want to have that center section like a twist, and then I would just cut that. And again, if you cut it a little bit long and then you can play about with whether or not you want it to be um, a loop on each end. And literally just going right into the end of my pliers. And then sort of twisting that, you know, have a little play about where you want them to go. And the placements. If it's a little bit long or whatever you want and that's just a, again a little varied version and so it with a little swirl and then let's for just for a bit of fun for real time just do one without me sort of showing you but see, you'll, you'll see but let me just make one up as if i wasn't slowing it down a sweet little rose twist in the middle looks it does doesn't it do you know what and that's why i love doing things like this because i think i've done all of those and it didn't occur to me to do the rose twist but i actually really quite like that and again it's a different look so let's just very quickly make the matching one now i'm going to try and do this handed so what i'm going to do is i am not going to um i'm not going to um talk like slow this down i'm going to do this in real time and show you just how quick when you're confident and happy with these they can be to do so whilst i very quickly do this let me know are you intending to have a go at making one of these for yourselves um do, i mean i just think this is a really cute idea like i said i was playing about with this and i just thought i love this um i love having a little um mixture with wire seeing what happens even then just doing that little rose that was just um sitting and just thinking and playing about you know i just love seeing what happens so i'd love to know if you have a go and if you do have a go you know let me know i'd love to see share me tag me in your makes so and uh do you have anything 
fun planned for the rest of the holidays or for the rest of the week. Just to say, you know, I said about going left to right. I went rather than going for this wire and that, because that's what I did for this one. I went in the opposite for this one because I want to do mine handed. I know I said I wouldn't tell you what I was doing, but I just want you to how quick these can be. And I will also say sometimes I find that by um, thinking about it as much, you end up with, you know, this, that's when you get the more um, more, more uh, natural look because if you're not thinking about it so much, it, you know, you just do it. I, I will try, but I think I may just buy the cabbage because I have loads of wire in my stash. Oh, well, amazing, Angela. Hopefully, I'd love to see, like I said, love to see what you come up with. So when you do it handed, just a little side note, you'll see how my wires are in a different position. That's because um, just because of the way I, I wrapped, I twisted them, I'm not quite sure. So what I am going to do is a little bit of a sneaky, sneaky. And I'm going to just bring that wire to the front there. Okay, let's have a little, let's do some bows. Bring that down like that. Now, please remember, I am doing this in real time. So I'm deliberately not, I know you probably can't see what I'm doing. I'm not holding it up for you to see. But that's because I've done the main pendant and the other earring i just wanted you to see how kind of easy it can be bear in mind i'm doing a left-handed version so this isn't as easy as it maybe should be <laughs> um bring that around but also to show you how if you just sort of play about with those wires a little bit they will come together for you this one's gonna look a little bit messier probably because I've also got a camera above me which I wouldn't normally have I'm going to just bring that across like so I think I'm going to bring that up over and down please remember I'm doing this handed so it is a little bit trickier Not only am I doing it handed, I'm doing it super quick. So I, I like, like to challenge myself, you know. It's not as neat, this one. I don't like this one as much. I would definitely take a bit more time. There we go. It's a little bit better. It's not quite as neat. So obviously take the time to get the consistency, right? But um, I just wanted you to see that you can, you know, and that is another tip I should say, sorry, as well, if you're doing earrings, to make sure you take that time to reference each other to make sure they are matching. Like if I was, because I wasn't really matching this, I didn't get it an exact match. However, these would also make cute little independent pendants. They're just a little bit littler. So even though they're smaller, it doesn't mean they have to be earrings. They could be pendants. Um, let me just mess about with this for two seconds. But yeah, I'd love to see what you will come up with. Leave that there and there. And then you can just cut. And then just do a little loop. As I said, take your time when you're doing this. I just want to give you an idea of how in real time you could kind of do a little matching pair of earrings. They're ready to go straight onto a shepherd hook now. Um, and you, the direct, you can change the direction of your loop to suit your shepherd hook. So whether you have it like this or whether you have it turned to the side, you know, you can use your pliers to decide which way you want that to be. Some smaller ones and put a ribbon through and make a garland. Oh, absolutely, Angie. I love the fact that people, you know, um, are able to come up with such lovely ideas. Um, also, you know, if you were given a card, um, a lot of people are starting to do the cards where you put a present within the card. So you could actually do um, a card, make these into earrings, or if you made it into a pendant, and then do a little card with a Christmas tree on and actually have this wrapped at the bottom so that they get, you know, they do like a box kind of card. Um, 
so yeah lots and lots and lots of potential with these i really hope you like this design um and that you have a go as well i just think these are so sweet of room forward to doing these um you can see how quick they are to do as well so if you were doing craft stores or anything like that these would be really great fun to be able to do on a craft store you know like don't let people see how quick it is and easy it is for you but definitely have them there they would be great little gifts um okay Hey, well, I will let all that's left really is for me to say thank you for joining me next week. I am back again next week and I am doing wire wrapped um, hematite arrowheads. I'm really excited for those. Um, so they're again, great to make a little bit different. Uh, I've got less to say is thank you for, for joining me today. I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and I will see you next Wednesday at 10 o'clock. OK, everyone have fun and I'll see you all soon.